You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. I am Alex Perez in Southern California. I'm Mike Morales, and will it go round in circles, Alex? Well, I thought you were doing a Stevie Wonder there. For no, a that's that's something else. That's that's <laughs> that's a figure eight. But this is we're doing Circulo Tequila. Check Circulo. out. Check out the packaging on this sucker, man. Look at look at the every little detail. See that cap? That cap is a C. See that? That's cool. Yeah. They uh, show them the glassware that they sent us, Alex. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they're they're little tumblers. They're like circulo. Circulo is is circle in Spanish, and um, they're. They're obviously well funded because they got some nice POS material. They got the, uh, they're calling it the tequila of the 21st century. You know, it's interesting why they they have the name Circulo on their POS. It says it takes its inspiration from the ancient civilization of the. Let me see if I pronounce this right. Guachimontones. Guachimontones, yeah. <laughs> where there only where there where. The only circular pyramids in the world are located mm -hmm. in the foothills of the Tequila Volcano in the state of Jalisco, Mexico. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, what's interesting, though, is is the the email that I got from the gentleman. Uh, his name is Kayvon Tahari, who is the chief business development officer at Circulo Spirits. He, he reached out to us on, on Twitter. And um, they seem to be primarily located all over the Houston area. Right now, they're probably just in Texas. Yeah, cool. The cool coasters, huh? They they really went all out, man. They did everything except send us T-shirts, you know. But that's okay. <laughs> so, Mr. Hey. Mr. Tahari said hey, to me, he said, "Let me know what you think." The project was four years in development trying to create a new profile and optimize the characteristics of the Highland agave. So that's that's his story. He's sticking to it. And, and uh, you know, we got some... It's a neat concept. Well, you know, uh, the, the POS is interesting because in the back it's telling us everything that, everything that they do for the, the, the bottle, the... the, the the cap, for instance, is patented chemical and sealant-free closing system made from highly resistant ABS material. Okay. Highest quality glass with maximum transparency, 100% recyclable. They use organic ink on the label. It's organic ink. Does that and mean that I, I Well, if you, know, if you have a kid who you know, eats labels, it won't kill them. And here's the kicker, the the uh, the top and the bottom. It says that they are individually laser coded for traceability and proof of authenticity. I I I, I don't know. I mean, you know, laser laser coded where? Um, are they doing that at, at the bottom somewhere? Maybe it's laser coated. Oh, maybe down at the bottom. I guess I, so. I can't see it's where good. where they they would. Uh... Is this kind of gimmicky? Yeah, it's a little it's a little gimmicky, um, but hey, you know, I like the bottle. It's it's a, got a good hand feel. It's not very hard to hold whether you're behind the bar or not. It'll fit nicely in a shelf if you're if you're you know thinking about. Maybe something new for your for your stores. Um, it is uh, what would what did you say the gnome was? It'll fit like this, or it'll fit like that. The gnome on this is um, it's uh, oh uh, uh, 1535? 1535, Yeah, yeah, that is Destilleria Morales. No relation to me. We've got some brands. We got some brands that we like coming out of there. Yeah, well, the new Peligroso is uh, is out of that distillery. Also, the the De Leon has been moved to that distillery. Um, also, 1921. When it moved, it moved to that distillery because it used to be at another distillery uh, a while back. Uh, it hasn't 
1921, it, depending on who you talk to, has not reached its, its it, it was better in its heyday. But we're going to try circulo, which means circle. Circle. Or as I like to, I like to quote Billy Preston, will it go round in circles? You have that, you have that CD. I know, no, you have the album. I have the album? You, I know you have that vinyl. Don't you have Billy Preston? He was no, the, I don't. He was the sixth Beatle. I don't have that one. What? No, oh, come on. I don't have it. So what do you think? Well, it's a beautiful color. I mean, you yeah. know, the, the bottle is as transparent as it's going to get. I mean, it looks like water. Yeah. It's, you know? it's pretty transparent. Not, I don't want to say it's pristine or shiny. No. No, it's not platinum, but it but it's, it's, it's certainly clear. Yeah, it is clear. It's got the little legs there. Wow. Some go and, and gobby going on in there. Yeah. Really clean. It's got a real clean nose, but real agave in your face. Huh? Yeah, it is. It's it's a it's a, it's it's a hair under being aggressive agave. Yeah, it's, and it's really green too. Yeah, it's green. It it's a uh, it's fresh agave as opposed to yeah. baked. Maybe. It almost yeah, a, it almost smells like it's at a higher ABV, but it's not. It's it's forty. I mean, you get this kind of nose at a, at a higher alcohol by volume. Yeah. Wow. Hey, man. Yeah, it's a real crisp uh, nose. Yeah. A lot of roasted agave in there. Like a cut grass. Fresh cut grass. It's it's green. It's fresh. Like a little peppery. Hmm. Mm. Holy cow, man. It's peppery oh. too on the back end, Alex. On the back of your palate. It's a it's a That's got a lot of a lot going on there, Michael. Yeah. It I uh, you know what's then it's got fruity no, fruity notes. It definitely is fruity. Apple, grapefruit and lemon. I get you definitely get the lemon. Well, the, yeah, maybe the grapefruit. I'm not sure about the okay. apple. I definitely get a grapefruit. Uh, cooked and raw agave notes, that's for sure, definitely. Silky complexion that is fresh and smooth. Uh, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to go that far and say that it's smooth because it really has a nice, interesting finish on the back end. And it's almost peppery, Alex. It's like it pops, like a like a jalapeno or no, no, no. I want to say jalapeno. What is it? Maybe white pepper, black pepper? It's a pepper. It's a pepper, pepper. pepper. <laughs> like a white pepper. Okay. But it's real green. But it's real pleasant. It's real fresh. Yeah, yeah. This is so, um, you know, they're saying it's a it's a. Uh, and it's not not that citrusy. It's it's um. It has herbal note, herbal hints, but I can't get the. It says thyme and rosemary, but I can't get that in here. Is that what they're saying on the uh, on the yeah. on the blanco? Yeah. Is that off their website? Off their little booklet here. Oh, their booklet. Okay. Does it does have a nice nose? Yeah, they're they're. <laughs> Apparently they they oh I see the liquids and syrups are transferred to stainless steel tanks and then champagne yeast is used for fermentation. They say the fermentation takes a whole week to complete. That's and and there while classical music is played sending positive vibrations to the living yeast. So they are using the the Mozart, uh, the Mozart method. Aha. Aha. A secret weapon. Because you know how much I love that Mozart method. 
I just want a guest and sit in us with us. No, we don't need a guest. <laughs> no guest. <laughs> All right. No interruptions, please. Let me know when you need a guest. We have some fan. We have a fan. We have a fan, that but that's okay. That happens a lot. Yeah, we, we got some. We got some fan girls. It's, it's a roadie. <laughs> it's a roadie. <laughs> What's the matter? You haven't security, security please. Security. Haven't, you, haven't you paid the roadie yet? Come on. <laughs> security. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know what? They're calling this, they're calling this tequila for the 21st century. I got news for you, folks. This is this is almost like an old school tequila, Alex. Because the the notes, the agave notes on this thing. Yeah. You know. Um, okay. Very well, but it's actually, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, think this was going to come out of this bottle. No, I thought it was going to be, you know, uh, until I checked to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we publish the gnome list uh, as regularly as it comes out, and and we have uh, uh, our version will actually tell you which distilleries are suspected of having a diffuser. I half expected a diffuser tequila until I looked at the gnome number, and I'm going, wait a minute. And then it's completely the other direction. You know, it's a, it's actually a very unique blanco. I you know, I and as you get down, I'm I'm even getting some wet cement, man. That's yeah, you know how hard that is to get wet cement. Yeah, I gotta oops, I gotta pour a little bit more of this because it's uh, it's it's singing a tune. So they are using the Mozart method, ladies and gentlemen. That is probably the first time I've. I'm, I'm wondering if if their distiller is either Solis, uh, Solis, and um, uh, and the other gentleman, his his partner. I'm gonna have to ask them. Have to the on me. Hey, you know. Hey, uh, I spilled some of it on me. I'm I'm gonna actually, be okay. Actually, I'm actually impressed with with this. This is cool, Alex. I think it's a brand of promise, man. You know what? It is not. It is not a. It's not a frou frou tequila. No, it is not a typical blanco for you. It's... Well, it's. I, I don't even. I I wouldn't even call it a gateway, honestly, mm. because it's not soft. It is. A, it is. A, it's a version. A, it's agave forward in another version. It's got another dimension to this uh, blanco that. I... You think it's because it's herbal, maybe, or? Because it's what? Herbal, some some herbal maybe in there. It, I probably, but it's not. Um, it's 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 got a lot going on for a blanco. Okay. It's Champagne yeast. I think and, it's the champagne yeast. And, and Mozart method. I'm willing to bet that this is being supervised by uh, by uh, Ingeniero Solis. Ingeniero Solis Tinoco is one of the one of the founders uh, of the what I call the Mozart method. And I, this is the first I've heard of him actually going to this particular distillery. Uh, but he's probably not working for the distillery. He's working for the brand, obviously. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to ask uh, Tavon. Who his master distiller is. Um, this uh, shocker, man. It's such such. It's actually an elegant sipper. Yeah. It's very elegant for a, for a blanco like this. And there's a lot of there's a lot going on in this nose, there's a, man. There's several layers in there. Yeah. They're just layers of of of, of different uh, notes. I thought they were all hype. Look at look at the box. Look at the box that this that this came in. The the glassware. Mira, círculo. Look at look at the. Look I, at I, the... I would think you'd lose a nose putting in something like this. Well, I I wouldn't, but you know, if you look at their on their website, you look at they have they have oodles they have oodles of of um, signature cocktails, and a lot of these are are served in a glass mm -hmm. like this. And the tumble, okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, I wouldn't. I initially, if you really, really want to get a lot out of the out of the circulo, please use a tequila glass or or a similar tool, um, because you're gonna miss out, and then play with it. You know, do one of the, they have some really imaginative cocktails. Nice. It definitely has some lemony notes. 
You know, it's a, it's a very different Blanco. It's a different take on a Blanco. Yeah, it, it's not it's not even as green as I as I initially thought it was. It's uh, I don't even want to call it green. There's something maybe it's earthiness. I do get the earthiness in the palate. Not mineral, but almost that even. It's just a different Blanco. I'm actually very impressed. Yeah, me too. Got to be part of the champagne yeast situation going on. I think, I think, that, I think the champagne yeast elevates yes. this, this tequila. Yeah, it, um, the, the flavor notes really, really are presented better, I think. But it's a very elegant Blanco. I'm actually, I'm actually very uh, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, um, it's not all hype. As far as we can tell right now, it's only available in and around the Houston area. Um, you probably find it all the way up here in San Antonio. I, I think their their main concern is probably to to take a hold of the of the Texas market and then expand from there. I'm not sure where else they're located, but. You can find them at, at Specs in, in Houston, and they have a Specs up in, uh, well, I think they have a Specs here in San Antonio and up in Austin as well. So uh, cool. probably throughout all the major all the major cities in, in Texas, you can find them. I would. Really well worth it. I'm not sure what the price point is on that. You'll have to check on that. Um, good stuff, man. Really impressive. I think uh, Brandon Promise nominee, not just for the flavor, but also for the packaging. i got to give it to him. Yeah, the packaging is is um, is twenty first century. Hey, <laughs> but it's old school tequila, boys and girls. Don't be fooled. Yeah, Don't that that fooled. is that that is very nice juice. Hey, let's do the reposado. <laughs> I'm Mike Morales here in Texas. <laughs> I'm Alex in Southern California. You've been watching Sipping Off the Cuff. We have been tasting Circulo, and it's. It's a winner, Brenda Promise. Yep. Thanks for watching, and as always, sip wisely.